Now the next option is the pinch option which as you can see in this slide allows you to remove some small features like the ridges that we've drew over the top surface of our arc geometry for generating uh, higher quality mesh cells. But before explaining the pinch command we have to delete the previous commands. Now to have a better view of the ridges that we drew over the top surface of the arc geometry we rotate our geometry a little bit. Before using the pinch command, I simply click on generate button so that we can, uh, we can have an initial mesh without any settings over our geometry so that you can have a better understanding of the differences that are made when we use the pinch command. As you know, you can find the pinch command by right clicking on the mesh, going over insert and then selecting pinch. Now after clicking on the pinch command, you would see that the software will ask you for three things. First, the master geometry, second, the slave geometry, and third, the tolerance. The tolerance would be explained in short time. Uh, about the master and the slave geometry, the master geometry is the geometry part or section which would stay in its original position without any changes made over it. However, the slave geometry is the geometry which would move toward the master geometry. Let's say we want to move the upper vertex of the rectangular ridge to the top surface of the arc geometry. Therefore, our master geometry would be the vertex which is placed on the top surface of arc geometry and our slave geometry would be the vertex which is placed over that master vertex. You would have a better understanding of what we are going to do in next slides. As mentioned before, after clicking on the vertex selection command, we select the vertex of the rectangular ridge which is placed over the top surface of arc geometry. And then as our slave geometry, which we want it to move toward the master, we would select the vertex which is placed over the master vertex. Now about the tolerance, the tolerance would be the length between these two vertices that we want to somehow remove. Therefore, as you can probably remember, the length of this ridge, as we have defined it in the design model software, was equal to 0.2. After entering the tolerance value equal to 0.2 and then clicking on the generate button, you can see that the mesh software will show up with an error defining that this tolerance was not enough to create the pinch command. Therefore, we have to enter a value a little bigger than what we've entered in the previous slides. For example, 0.3. After entering the right value for the tolerance, you can see that the pinch command was correctly done. Also, you can see that the slave geometry, which was the top vertex of the rectangular ridge, has moved toward the master geometry. Now let's say we want to completely delete this rectangular ridge. Therefore, we click on the edge selecting command and then click on all of the lower edges of the rectangular ridge that are placed over the top surface of the arc geometry as our master geometry, which we want, which we want them to stay in their own original place. And then of course, as for our slave geometry, we would have to select the edges that are placed over the selected edges as our master geometry. And now if I click on the generate button, you would see that the geometry of this rectangular ridge would be completely removed so that we could have a better uh, mesh quality. You can also use the pinch geometry to move the top surface of the arc geometry toward the top surface of the ridge. Therefore, if we go over the circular ridge, I can show you that. As I mentioned before, we want to make the top surface of the arc geometry to become level with the top surface of the ridge. Uh, or in some way, we, could, we would have a surface that connects the top surface of the ridge to the top surface of the arc geometry without any jumps in height.
Now as you could probably guess we have to select the edge placed over the top surface of the circular ridge as our master geometry this time and the edge which is placed uh, on the top surface of the arc geometry as our slave geometry. After clicking on the generate button you can see that the pinch command has worked well and we have a uniform surface that connects the top surface of the circular ridge to the top surface of the arc geometry without any jumps.